Hey there guys, Trogdor here again, and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Today I have for you another 2x2 two two flush door, but since the last one I had a request to make this one seamless, this one is also seamless. Uh, instead of designing an entirely new door, I just directly modified the one that I built so the this is why this looks a lot like that Jeb door it's one taller so it is three by six by seven instead but now if we open it we don't see the sticky pistons in here that's what it means to be seamless if you didn't know that so now this is a flush seamless door and uh, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say about this. So let's get on with the tutorial. Okay guys, let's get on with this tutorial. So to start off, we're going to need a 3x6 area. That's the white area. And our floor is going to be 2 off the ground. So 1, 2, this coal block will be the floor. So to start off, we're going to take a couple sticky pistons. We're going to place them right in the center in the front like that. We're going to then place our uh, wall block on top of those. So this will be your wall right here. We're going to place a frame around them. Since this is a 2x2 two two door, we're going to have a 2x2 two two frame. We're going to get rid of these two right here because those will be underground. Then we're going to come to the back and place in our floor like that. Then we're going to place in a couple blocks here on the wall like that. And a block there and there. Then we're going to come over and place a temporary block here. A sticky piston facing in. Same thing on this side. Like that. Then we're going to place a temporary block there, place a couple sticky pistons right there facing down. Then we're going to place regular blocks there and there. These will be your wall block, whatever your wall is outside. And then we're going to finish the ceiling up right there. Next you're going to take an obsidian block and place it here. You're going to do the same on this side. Then you're going to place a couple blocks here and here. Same thing on this side. Everything is mirrored. <laughs> Go place a couple temporary blocks there to help us place in regular pistons right there. Facing down. Same thing on this side. Get rid of these. Now we can take a sticky piston and place it here and here those are facing forward then we're going to come down here in line with these at the bottom place a piston facing up and a piston facing up those are regular and then you're going to place a black on both of those then you're going to come to the front down by these sticky pistons here, place uh, redstone lamps. Then you're going to take an observer, place it there. Facing into this piston, it will push those up. Then you're going to take redstone dust, place it on that and that. Then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So observer into the piston and then redstone dust there. Then we're going to come to these blocks right here, place a sticky piston right there with a redstone block on it. Same thing over here. Now we're going to come to the top. This is the front right here, so in the back on these two, we're going to place dust. Then we're going to place dust on both of these uh, regular or sticky pistons right there. Then we're going to place an observer right here, facing into this sticky piston. Same thing over here, into this one. Then we're going to take redstone dust, place it here and here on those blocks. 
and over here we're going to place a black here and here and redstone repeater here and here and those have to be on four ticks delay okay so all we have to do is test this out so I grabbed out a lever to test it out so this thing defaults as open which isn't a problem if you're using T flip flop or stuff like that uh, so that just means that the lever being down it will be closed and the lever being up it will be open and since that's how we test it, we just tested it so as you can see the Sticky pistons aren't showing or anything, so it's fully seamless. And it closes completely and opens completely. So what you need to know is these four redstone dust right here are your input. So if you want this to default as closed, all you would have to do is uh, power this with a redstone torch and it's closed by default and now I can put a lever and now activating the lever will open it instead of close it so yeah and if you want to hook a T flip flop up to this refer to that T flip flop video I made the other day because that will work for this too uh, anyways guys, that is it for the tutorial. Uh, if you found this tutorial helpful or you like this build, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps out my channel. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. I will see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye